So today we're talking downtown Columbus and more specifically, a neighborhood right off of downtown Columbus that is just experiencing explosive renovation, explosive growth. It's really exciting to see what's happening in the Franklinton neighborhood right off of downtown Columbus. So we're gonna explore some places to work. We're gonna explore some places to play or to eat. And obviously we're gonna look at places to live and the things to do around where you live. We're gonna look at major employers. And then we're gonna look at this little tiny hole in the wall place to eat ribs that you just can't miss. So I hope you enjoy this. Let's take an exploratory look around the Franklinton area. So if you're from Columbus and you've traveled down State Route 315 or traveled on Interstate 670, you've probably noticed this big, huge building behind me. These are the big billboards that you see when driving those freeways. Now, what most people don't realize is there's a lot that's happening right here at this exact intersection of rivers, freeways, and all of that. So in such close proximity to the downtown skyline that you see over my shoulder, you have all kinds of cool things right here. So just beyond those trees you see in the background, that is Confluence Park. Awesome location for wedding receptions and all kinds of, of events and those kind of things. Great restaurant. If you look just over my other shoulder, you can see the tower for the brand new Columbus Crew Stadium called Lower.com Field. Now, Lower.com Field is in the Arena District. That's where the Columbus Blue Jackets uh, play at the Arena. And then Huntington Field, where the Columbus Clippers play, right across there, that close. Also at this spot, one of the massive developments that's taking place down here, this is the Cover My Meds corporate headquarters. So there's two buildings actually with the Cover My Meds complex. The first building is already open. You see this glass structure behind me. Absolutely gorgeous architecture. And the new, new building is going up just over my shoulder. Now literally, I have only made a quick little trip and we're right back at that big building that we started with. So we talked about the buildings that are going up now let's talk a little bit more about Cover My Meds. Cover My Meds has made a serious commitment to the Franklinton area. Already they employ well over a thousand people here behind me, but they're adding hundreds and hundreds of jobs that are all great paying jobs in high tech field. Now, these buildings are going up is just one part of that commitment to Franklinton. Cover My Meds has work throughout the community to make this area so much better. It's just incredible what they've been doing. So we really have to give a shout out to Cover My Meds. Now, for what it's worth, for those who don't know what Cover My Meds is, that was a startup that was here in Columbus, started from literally just an idea, and they were acquired for well over a billion dollars, and now they're well on their way to being a multi-billion dollar company just incredible what can happen. So Columbus is steeped in history that goes back all the way to Thomas Jefferson's days. But Franklinton itself, the area, was the original settlement that predated the city of Columbus. And right here behind me is the original land grant building where they gave out the land grants for this area. Luke, a fellow by the name of Lucas Sullivan, was one of the founders of Franklinton. And this was his land office, and that's what started the entire city of Columbus. So part of the history of Franklinton is this wonderful place called Tom Tommy's Diner that is right here on Broad Street. Literally, right before we started filming, this is where we ate dinner because the food is awesome. But every dignitary that comes to Columbus seems to always end up visiting Tommy's Diner because it's kind of that landmark icon. And even better yet, when you go inside, there's pictures of all those folks all over the walls to look at. It's like a 50s diner, 
It's been around forever, as long as I can remember, and it's truly an icon in this Franklinton area. Part of the history of the revitalization effort here in Franklinton has got to include Bottoms Up Coffee Shop. Started out as a social enterprise, helping pregnant uh, women to be able to get the, the health care that they needed. They took the profits from this place and drove it back into the community. They've since expanded and become a shared office space in addition to a killer place to get that cup of coffee in the morning. Over my shoulder is the old engine house number 10. Now, from there it's become really cool stuff. Now we have this beautiful new engine house, new fire station, really awesome. For what it's worth, that older building will be renovated as well and incorporated into this whole center right here, right by Bottoms Up. So history is not only looking at the past, but new history is written every day in this Franklinton revitalization area. So behind me is part of that new history that's being written. The Gravity Project, which was done by Brett Kaufman, really a radical idea of putting together an apartment building and all of these offices and retail spaces all together in what used to be a very poor section of town, which is now undergoing this, this incredible revitalization. Incredibly beautiful building. You can see some of the artwork. High tech, but yet very artsy at the same time. Now, you can probably hear the construction going on. The Gravity 2 project is right directly across the street and is going up right now. That merger of food and history continues here in Franklinton. Over my shoulder is the Spaghetti Warehouse. Doesn't look like much from the outside, right? But inside, absolutely beautiful old trolley cars and just set up in such an incredible way. Also, the food is great. So that innovation, ideas, all of those things all come together. And what do you do? You create an idea foundry. Now, Franklinton is home to two fabulous, what I like to call collaborative spaces where people with an idea can come and talk with other entrepreneurs and help mold their ideas together and come up with what eventually becomes tomorrow's wonderful businesses. I mean, even places like Amazon or Tesla started out in the mind of someone and then they evolved and became these monster companies. Those next monster companies very well could be inside of this building here at the Idea Foundry or at our next stop, 400 West Rich Street. So this is 400 West Rich Street. It also is a maker space and collaborative working space. Really, any type of equipment, any type of collaboration that needed to be done can be done in this building. Doesn't quite look as fancy as the Idea Foundry, but has a lot going on inside. So entertainment is part of the life in Franklinton as well. There's an entertainment district down here in the heart of the Franklinton Arts District. Really cool stuff. Three large uh, brew pubs right here together. So you've got the land grant, which is directly behind me, obviously. Right across the street, as I'm looking across the camera, is the strong water. And then as I pan around this way, you've got brew dog right down on the corner. All are fabulous places to get your entertainment on. There's also small little venues throughout Franklinton that are just way too numerous to mention in this particular video. So the Franklinton Arts District is just incredible in what they've done to transform the area into literally a street art gallery, as you see behind me, or even some of the architecture that will shoot from across the street. There are art galleries, art studios, all kinds of maker spaces all over this Franklinton Arts District area, along with, of course, the entertainment venues, etc. Beautiful place to come during numerous, numerous events that occur throughout the year. So really, the Franklinton Arts District was established to help revitalize Franklinton, but it's really exceeded in many, many ways. 
So along the banks of the Scioto here in Columbus, in Franklinton, is this wonderful park. It's called Dodge Park. So Dodge Park is kind of a lot of things all in one. So you have a skate park over my shoulder. You have basketball courts. You have a traditional standard green space park. You have a community center, community pool, kind of everything all together. And it's right in the heart of the Franklinton area. So here in the Franklinton area, the, a lot of the homes are in the process of being renovated or have already been renovated to different extents, but it depends on the individual house and the particular streets that they live on. And then there's a few that are still yet to be done. So there's still great opportunity to be had in this Franklinton area as it redevelops. Some of the streets in Franklinton, almost every home has been renovated. And some of them have been renovated to above and beyond what you would normally expect in these types of improvement areas. These homes are absolutely gorgeous. So another of the new developments that's in the Franklinton area is this river and rich development. Now we're on the townhome side of the community and there's also another section that has all art galleries and all kinds of cool things that are up along Rich Street. And we'll do our best to get a little bit of B-roll of that as well. But just be aware, this is a new part of Franklinton that is absolutely wonderful. So underneath every community to make it strong is a strong foundation, just like any house. So the infrastructure that's in the area is very important. Things like this newer library, things like the renovated school just up the street, all within you know, eye shot of the downtown skyline. Now, since we're here at the library, there's one little thing I have to show you. This is Red Door Barbecue. Now the place is relatively new in terms of the history of Franklinton. Been here about five years. But if you visit that library and you don't come across the street and get yourself some barbecue, you are missing out all the way. So obviously part of any community is also gonna be the homes that are in the area and the people that it attracts and all of those kind of things. So we were just talking about the library. We were just talking about the awesome barbecue. Well, we're literally next door to the barbecue. This is 185 Cypress. This is a house that I currently have listed. And uh, let's take a look inside and see how they've renovated this house. So come on in. So this particular home was renovated by one of my more active clients. They've done a great job on it. Put down brand new hardwood floors, brand new mechanicals, brand new light fixtures, brand new windows, brand new doors. You name it, it's brand new. So this front room area, now a lot of people are using this as flex space. They're using it for either an office or for the kids room or for an art studio or you name it, that's what they'll be using this for. Now once upon a time ago, the history that goes along with it, this would have been your formal living room and then through the door would have been your dining room. So dining rooms aren't as popular nowadays, so a lot of times this flexible space now becomes the living space for the person who lives in the home. Now, I'm not saying you couldn't flip those. You certainly can put in a formal dining room but that's your choice, okay? Now, back here, they've completely renovated this kitchen. They've put in brand new white cabinets, butcher block countertops, LVT flooring to, so that you're not having the messes uh, from hardwood floors and water and all those kind of things that you might have. Beautiful backsplashes, and of course, once you get the appliances in here, this will be a really, really cool kitchen. So upstairs, you have two bedrooms up here, and you also have two full bathrooms. So down this little hallway here is a fully renovated bathroom. And then also, we have off of the second bedroom, you have a little bedroom suite. This bedroom suite carries over to another full bath back here. 
So this is the larger of the two bedrooms. Now one thing I do want to point out is that the hardwood floors also carry up here. But let's go over to this window and check out the view. You have a pretty good view of the Columbus downtown skyline from right here in the front of the house. Really, really cool feature for a house that is priced this low. So as I mentioned before, the mechanicals in this house have been updated, new electric, all kinds of cool stuff, but strong stone foundation, no caves, those types of things. Very, very solid house. Also that scary cellar that sometimes people are worried about. Well, this one doesn't have that scary feel. In fact, it even has a sump pump in it. So as you come out the back door of this house, of course, the first thing you notice is a nice little porch, beautiful for those evening sits, those kind of things. And then we have a nice sized backyard here. And we have a one car garage and private off street parking if that's what you decide to use it for. So this is a prime example of a house that's been renovated down here in the Franklinton area. Whether it's this house or other houses around it, each one has their unique character. So if you've thought about living in this Franklinton revitalization, just booming area, just give us a call and let us know that you'd like to explore further houses like this. So I hope you enjoyed this tour of Franklinton. It's one of the affordable neighborhoods that is close to this downtown core of Columbus, Ohio. This is is truly a beautiful spot in the Franklinton area in Dodge Park and you can see the river you can see the riverfront which has all been developed beautiful skyline it's something that I'm obviously very very proud of to be from Columbus Ohio so I hope you enjoyed this tour we'll catch you in the next video